I've had enough. The day was the day for me. It was the day of realizing that my life was going in a different direction. Sure. People that were in my life previously that were holding me back and keeping me negative and keeping me unhappy really and put me down all of that that I was going to have to cut the cord for good people are sometimes so set in their ways that progressively over time they're just going to continue to get worse and worse and worse and while you're spending years and years of years of your life dealing with these individuals thinking that at some point if you stay and you, and you deal with it that it's somehow going to cure itself and that they're going to be better individuals at some point it gets to the point where it's like you're kidding yourself there's a yeah. quote um and it's so true the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting some sort of different outcome and some sort of different result as um the product of you doing that same action over and over again I realized this has been going on for so long trying to put me down, trying to make me feel bad about myself, talking down to me, treating me like really bad. Um, and I'm not gonna get into specific, specific circumstances. And I'll just say it. Like, I think there's like this taboo part of all this where we don't want to just call it out for what it is. Um, when people take your time for granted, when people, you know, allow you to do such sweet things for them, but at the same token, take you for granted and just kind of treat you like, crap at the end of the day I mean that's abusive that's abusing your time that's abusing what you're bringing to the table and unfortunately it happens very often but I think the thing is with family members and our loved ones we want to stick it out because we feel like we have to we feel like we have an obligation to and I think it's typically looked at as very bad if you let people go and you value your own self-worth and your own sanity over what's transpiring with this individual. And I realized for so many years that not only was I just suffering in silence and just complaining about it without taking action, I was really enabling this behavior and making it seem like I was green lighting it, like this was okay for me. And I just was like, it, it just snapped for me. Like I was like, this is not okay. What you're doing is not something I'm going to allow. I don't like what you're doing and I'm not just going to get angry. I'm not just going to, you know, stomp my feet and say you're wrong and have you keep doing the same thing over and over again and keep disrespecting me yet again because that's what it turns into. If people consistently do this to you over and over again, they have absolutely no respect for you and that's a point of contention for me. Um, and it's been disputed like people will tell me oh well we respect you you're just making that up like no actions speak louder than words and I've told actual blood relatives this if you're willing to cross that line with me again and again and again admit to me that you are going to change never change but still do the same exact thing again and again and again that is the definition of disrespect definition of what trauma bonding does to us it keeps us so stuck in this toxic uh, type of tug of war relationship, a give and take that's not healthy for us because we do not feel fundamentally like we are going to be safe if we take that leap of faith and we move on to something else. Um, but I'm here to tell you that this is kind of a real life situation in my life where I'm taking a big leap of faith in a positive direction, um, launching my businesses, um, military service, um, you know, saving up money for my financial future. All things that really, really depend upon me being happy and whole and in a very positive frame of mind. Um, and being around people that hinder you and keep you at a low vibration only is going to hinder you and keep it so you're struggling to reach these goals, right? And one thing I had to see in my life is what is my worth? I'm worth more than what I'm dealing with. I don't need unnecessary stress. I have bills to pay. I have relationships that matter to me. When you have a different direction, that you're trying to take your life and you're trying to live a positive, uplifting life and no longer be upset and be around people that are going to give you unnecessary stress, then you have to let them go.
they're no longer worth it and you got to think of it we're all kind of on this earth for a short time that should be a good time and if you're surrounding yourself with people that make you feel less than or just not good don't make you feel like a great human being every day you wake up then you need to reevaluate that and while I say that people can change I've seen it happen um, you have to sometimes move forward without someone in order for them to change on their own you can't be tied to them and still hope that they'll change while they're destroying your life one thing I did learn was a very very tough life lesson um, a very hard lesson that I don't think I would wish on anyone it's tough um, I've honestly spent nights where I couldn't sleep thinking about the what if, uh, the, the pain that this would cause me to actually let go and move on with my life um, and not include certain family members. Sometimes you have to move on. You have to work on yourself and by no means am I a perfect person, but every day I wake up with conviction to try and make myself a better person each and every single day and I think that's the best thing that any of us can really do now as far as a trauma bond don't ever do this to yourselves guys uh, trauma bonding is pretty much what I just outlined here this type of situation where you feel like you need to stick with someone due to the hurt and the pain and the trauma that you've experienced with that person it keeps you so stuck and locked into these relationships where you feel like you would not be whole you would not be a whole person without this sick tie you have with this individual right that essentially is a trauma bond life is short life is beautiful and people who don't view it that way and have lead a very narcissistic outlook on life and can't just be lighthearted can't just try and strive for the best uh, those are people that you do not need in your life trust me believe me I've lived it hopefully this was helpful to you and hopefully this did resonate with someone out there who's going through something similar needed someone to share their story remember to like and subscribe for more content like this on this channel and without further ado I will see you guys in my next video be well, be safe, and take care, guys. Bye.